Hello. Today we start the week of prayer for Christian unity. Unfortunately, it's not as easy as it always has been. And of course, there's no sharing of pulpits while we're in COVID-19. But I think the best thing I can do is to read a particular prayer by Archbishop William Lord, who was Charles II's Archbishop of Canterbury. And I really think it hits home to us all. O oh God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, our only Saviour, the Prince of Peace, give us grace seriously to lay to heart the great dangers we are in by our unhappy divisions. Take away all hatred and prejudice and whatsoever else may hinder us from godly union and concord, that, as there is but one body and one spirit, and one hope of our calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of us all, so we may henceforth be all of one heart and of one soul, united in one holy bond of truth and peace, of faith and charity, and with one mind and one mouth glorify thee through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And I conclude with the St John's Prayer, a special prayer that we use at St John the Baptist in Chester. Almighty God and Father, we bring before you all the peoples of the earth, of every age, race, colour, class and creed. As you blessed us at creation, send your Holy Spirit so that faith may be renewed and strengthened, that we may, with courage, take out into a sometimes bitter, sceptical and divided world the knowledge of your truth, that the peace and love of Jesus Christ may heal divisions, give hope to those in need, and to those who have much, the will to help those who have nothing. We ask this in the name of him who was sacrificed on the cross for our salvation, Jesus Christ our Lord, joining our prayers with those of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, the Mother of the Lord, St John the Baptist, our patron and herald of the Lord, St Peter, the Prince of the Apostles, and all your saints, both living and departed, and with all those of your faithful people. And we say, Amen, Amen, Amen.